So while I'm waiting for uh, materials and tooling and stuff to arrive to uh, build the next iteration of Hot End, I thought I'd address another little problem that I've got. It's not really a problem, but it's a bit of an inconvenience. It's because my uh, Hot End and extruders uh, are on separate gantries, but they are joined with Bowden tubes. And so I can only move the Hot End about 15 mil in relation to the extruders before it things get they get nasty and when I'm working on the machine I need to move the hot end uh, and or extruders somewhere close to where I can uh, where I can work on them and I can do it manually um, like this but I have to be careful that I move both of them together um, and it's not generally a very good thing to do either because when you move them like that, the, the motor itself acts as a generator and you can, you can see the LEDs light up with the back EMF. So it's better to use the normal machine controls to move it. Um, but that's part of my little problem because, because this is a laptop that I use which is just perched on the top of some toolboxes. <coughs> And as you can see, I've got um, I've got buttons to move each individual axis, but I have to be really careful because if the x-axis gets too far away from the y-axis, then it's going to pull the pull the Bowden tubes out. Now, if I was clever, I could um, I could hack the Duet web control so that these buttons would move all the axes together rather than individual axes, but but I'm not clever enough to do that. So what I really want is some means of moving all the axes together. Um, and the other problem I've got is <coughs> when I'm working on the machine, I've got the door open like that. So now when I want to get at the computer, I've got to reach around the door. And the other thing I've got is um, is that which is an HDMI screen with USB touch screen um, so I could use that to control the machine or I've got an old panel view kicking around somewhere that I could put that on but I still got the problem that the buttons would only move one axis and I need to move both the hot end and the extruders together so I've come up with a more mechanical solution which is basically this I'll zoom in on it so it's a joystick and I can move left, right, up, down, or forward, backward. So effectively it's just got four micro switches. Let's call them north, south, east and west. And I've connected them to some spare in and out connectors that I've got on the main board. So to keep the number of conductors down, I've got a common ground which goes to one side of all the switches. And then the other side of the switch they're normally open switches so the normally closed side is connected each switch goes to a separate in and out pin and then i've set up a trigger so that if either of those switches changes state then it will run the trigger and the trigger itself runs a macro and the macro tells the three gantries to move by an amount together show you how that works so i can nudge it it will nudge it by a small amount left right forward backwards now of course g code has to be a move i can't continuously rotate the motors i can i can it has to be a fixed amount and i've chosen kind of 0.5 of a mil and that enables me to position the gantry quite reasonably precisely where I want it to be but if I wanted to go from x min to x max in it's about 400 mil and in 0.5 mil increments that would mean I'd have to toggle that kind of 800 times or something so the macro, macro actually runs in a loop so initially when the switch when either of those four switches changes state 
that's the trigger that runs the macro and the macro itself looks at the state of all four of those switches <clears throat> and then depending on which one is closed depends on what move command it gives to the machine it's slightly cleverer than that because the joystick actually has intermediate positions so let's say northwest northeast southwest southeast because at those sort of 45 degree positions then two switches are triggered so what the macro does it looks not just at individual switches but combinations of switches and will generate 45 degree moves depending on which combination of switches are done and it's all still done with the four switches so only four conductors go into four input pins so only i can use five core cable but by wrapping everything in a loop it means that i can hold the joystick over and it will continue to jog it would still take a long time going 400 mil in 0.5 mil increments so there's another little thing that happens with inside the loop there's a there's a counter it's a thing called iterations and that increments by one every time the loop runs so what i then do the move distance itself starts off at half a mil but it's then half a mil plus the iteration so the first time around it will be half a mil the second time through the loop it will be one and a half mil the third time it will be two and a half mil so the longer i hold my finger on the joystick the longer each individual move gets so effectively the faster it gets i'm trying to do this thing sometimes you set a digital clock and you press the button and the longer you hold your finger on the button the quicker the digits change so it's that kind of principle so here it is in action um, if i just move it left and right see the longer i hold it the quicker the move gets so i can go forward 45 degrees or so each move gets progressively longer so it gets a bit quicker and then obviously once i've got close to where i want to be i can just release it and then just nudge it until i get where i want to go so it's a bit clunky because g-code works that way you have to do individual moves you can't have a continual move but it gives me a way of moving all the heads around in sync and i don't have to use the laptop in fact i don't even need to turn it on i can do that with the printer anytime the one other minor embellishment is that um, potentially i could crash the head into an axis or they could start off in a position where they're not lined up so they could be like that when they start and then obviously if i tried to move the hot end to the right hand extreme then the extruders are going to reach the frame first and bad things are going to happen so it's better that the things are homed first because that will do two things it aligns the extruders up with the hot end if that's been accidentally knocked and then once the print has been homed it knows the minimum and maximum axis limits so it respect those limits if i start jogging it around so as i had yet another input i've added an, just a simple push button which is actually hidden under there it's a little red button there And that will just run another macro which just homes x and homes y so again i don't need the laptop um, powered up or anything like that i can just just press that and that homes x and y well actually x y u v a and b
So now the printer's homed, um, so I didn't need to get round there to the laptop to do that, just press the button. And then if I just hold my finger on the joystick, then it'll get to the minimum. Nothing bad's gonna happen after that, it respects the axis limits, so. So that's my, made my life easier. Quite a simple thing to do really. The joystick was uh, joystick was fairly cheap, and I had plenty of spare I/O connectors. As things stand at the moment, even during a print, um, the trigger will still work. So if I accidentally nudge the joystick while a print's in progress, it's going to um, well, the print's not going to go well. <laughs> Initially, I thought I'll put a cover over the joystick so I can't accidentally nudge it, but the next version of firmware, which is currently in beta, has got another parameter so that the triggers will only work when a file isn't being printed. So as soon as that comes out of beta stage, I'll update it. I need to give a shout out to the um, guys on the Duet forums, especially Dave Crocker, for helping me out with the macro. I'll put a link in the description to the forum post that I started um, and the code and everything that I ended up using is in that post so if anybody wants to replicate it they can do and that's all for now